It's what America doesn't know, or the vast majority of America doesn't know, is that there are so many different turkeys. The black Mexican, the Spanish turkey, the bronze turkey. The, it's, 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 it's an endless family of turkeys. So a lot of people, they never ask themselves, but there's so many different breeds. So it's important to get a good breed that is nice and tender, that has muscle and taste and flavor, but then is nice and soft once you cook it. Obviously roasting the, the turkey is the big thing. I, th I think we overcomplicate things. I think if you buy a good quality turkey, you don't need brining. Well, why to brine it? Why to waste time? Is the problem that people buy frozen turkeys? Yeah, maybe, but uh, I've never bought a frozen turkey in my life. Well, not true. One time, because I was making, yeah, I lie. One time, I, one time I bought a frozen turkey. How did that go? I made was to make a stock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe that's an answer. People shouldn't buy the frozen turkey if they can. Yeah, but buy it fresh. It's, it's a lot of turkeys. How many turkeys in America? It's in Thanksgiving. So is 340 million Americans we are. Uh, 300, let's say, is a family average of five, six on an average. Damn, my God. There's some vegetarians in there. Yeah, but yeah, but they don't count on Thanksgiving. Uh, they don't count on Thanksgiving. It's plenty of, it's plenty of festivals as side dishes, man. Now it's time for our special Good Neighbor segment. Brought to you by our sponsor, Estate Farm. My listeners know that celebrating local food and supporting local farms is very important to me. But buying from local farms for my restaurants and for myself at home is not just about cooking and eating the freshest food. It's an investment in building resilient communities. Every squash, mushroom, or beautiful, delicate, delicious bag of microgreens supports a business and sustains our neighborhoods. In other words, when I buy local, when you buy local, we are being good neighbors by supporting our local farms and communities. So a big thank you to State Farm for sponsoring Longer Tables and highlighting how we can all be good neighbors with our local communities. State Farm is there with the coverage you need for your car, your home, and even boats, motorcycles, RVs, and other things that matter to you. With a State Farm agent, you know someone is there to help you choose the coverage you need. With so many coverage options, it feels good knowing you can find what works best for you and your needs. And when you need ways to get help, a State Farm gives you options there too. Whatever it is in person or on the phone with your local agent or on statefarm.com or on their award-winning app, a State Farm lets you do things your way. So when you need help protecting the things that matter most, Remember to say, like a good neighbor, a state farm is there. Why don't you brine? Yeah, but before that, I was making the thought about how many turkeys. I'm. I don't have Wikipedia in front of me. I don't have. I I I don't have Google, Google in front of me. I'm I'm only guessing that America on Thanksgiving may be consuming between twenty and thirty million turkeys. Yeah, a year. probably. So that's a lot of turkeys. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing that frozen is because there's no way to serve so many turkeys to America on one day Probably at the same right time. A year. How many? So this voice you're listening to in the background is the only the one, Jane Black. She is the most fascinating. I, I actually don't know why Richard is here in the sofa, not Jane, um, because... She's, She's better than me. Funny, and witty, smart. Yeah. Knows a hell, a hell a lot about food more than Richard and I combine. Uh, so I think on the next podcast, Jane is joining this podcast. The pumpkin soup is probably. I better. hope she accepts the invitation. 
So the voice of wisdom in the background said 26 million Turkey? 46 million. 46 million Turkey. Is on a, Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. So it's an average of one Turkey for every five people. Some people are eating more, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. there's the turkeys that burn down houses, so they don't count. I guess they give turkey to the zoos, to the lions and the tigers. I don't know. But why and don't the birds? Why don't you brine? Because I think Vice President Kamala Harris brines. That's fine, but I mean, hold on a second. Um, she, she's an amazing woman and a great leader. But even great, amazing leaders, they're Check not things wrong. They're not perfect. Wow. Um, she brines wet or, or, or dry? I don't know. I just read somewhere she brines. I don't even know why I remember. That's how little I know. So I don't brine because my turkey is the best, the Kelly bronze. And Kelly bronze is a turkey that needs no brining. Yep. People over spend time brining, overthink it. Um, let turkey be turkey. Let turkey express himself herself a good turkey the most important thing is the temperature it's lower longer you're gonna get nice brown in that side but the meat is gonna be beautifully shiny juicy everybody needs to work harder in having the perfect juicy turkey so. Until we don't start talking about that and the temperatures that allows you to have the perfect juicy turkey, what do you care about if you brine or not if at the end the turkey is going to be a dry, messy disaster? Uh, Jane, Jean even has this thing of making multiple dressings for his different family members. What's your advice for people like Jean? I think making different dressings is a smart idea because... We forget that the dressing in a way is a sauce. And everybody talks about the gravy, which I love gravy, but they think a good dressing is a perfect gravy too. Um, me, obviously, I do my gravy a little bit ahead when we are a lot of people, but uh, I make it right right there when we are not a lot of people. Why? Because the, the turkey needs to rest. Before you carve, you need to give it at least 20, 30 minutes rest. You need to remember that the temperature keeps increasing in the inside of the turkey because the heat, once it penetrates inside the turkey, keeps going in. Therefore, the temperature you are taking right now as you're taking it out of the oven is going to go at least 10, 20 degrees That's a good over check. the next 10, 15 minutes. Mm. And until that temperature doesn't start going down and all the uses go back to all across the breast, and the legs, which usually the legs, because there are different types of meat, the white breast and the dark legs, the legs are always going to be, to a degree, undercooked, even pinky, even slightly bloody if you want. But this should not be never a problem. Make sure that you take the turkey when the breasts are right. You start with the breasts, and then you give time then to put the legs back in the oven. If you are trying to cook it so the legs are ready, your breast will always be dry. And so you carve out the breast and then put it back in to do the legs? If you have to, yeah. Well. But if you do it slowly and for a long time, you can achieve almost a perfect breast-leg ratio. But again, concentrate in the breast so it's nice and juicy. You can, you can debone the breast once it's cooked, take it out, it's gonna slice very well and easily on a cutting board, and then you put back. You put back the, the legs. It's plenty of time. That's the way I like to do it. Okay. Sometimes I make paella, and sometimes I don't serve turkey and I do baby pig. My, my, my daughters are not very happy when I do baby pig, especially the year that I gave my daughter Charlotte's Web, <laughs> uh, first edition. You know, I like first editions. This is for Thanksgiving. And my daughter thought that, say, Daddy, they, very, very polite of you, very, very nice <laughs> that you give me Charlotte's Web and you cook uh, baby pig on the same day. I wonder you how. are 
you are such a actually it was not thanksgiving this was christmas nice but thanksgiving i cook I, i've cooked often baby pigs i'm sure the therapist thinks that's the gift that keeps on giving i i, I think so 